everyone, and today we're going to be looking at a great tool that will help us check for plagiarism in our work. And this is important not just because of grades and assignments, but because a lot of times when we're writing, we might initially copy parts of the article or put it in our notes in a certain place and then forget and come back to it and not realize that we've kept in some copied or plagiarized content. So this tool is called uh, CopyLeaks and you need to go to copyleaks.com. And then once you've clicked on that, it will ask you to log in. So you need to log into your account. And once you do that, it will take you to the main page. And you can see here that I've got my scans and then this will be your dashboard once you start uploading material. And then the first thing that you need to do is go to new scan. So once you've gone to new scan, you've got several options. You can paste your text here. You can upload the file. You can even upload code. Um, a link to a document um, or an OCR or compare. So if we just look into text here first, you can see that you can just copy and paste your text in here and you can uh, look at the sidebar and you can choose the different detection modes that you want it to look at. So for example, AI content detection, plagiarism detection, if you want it to give you the best results for plagiarism, which is obviously ideal for education, um, maximum results was best for copyright and so on. Um, if you go back, We've also got an option to upload a file so we can here drag and drop our file again. Before we do that, I want to be sharing with you um, a document which I've developed in order to and put different sections in in order to see how well CopyLeaks picks up the different areas, whether it can see the plagiarized areas, where it can see the paraphrase and so on. Here's our document um, and let me take you through it quickly. The first section I've written myself, so should not have any uh, plagiarism in that. And then the section in red here that you see is completely copied and I've put where I've taken it from. It's from Wikipedia. And then I've written an, another section here. And then the section in blue, this has actually been paraphrased by Quillbot. So I want to see if it's really picking up the detecting that, that it's being paraphrased by AI tools. Uh, the section in green is been, has been paraphrased by ChatGPT. So again, I want to see how well it does with that. And then the section in red is completely copied from a research paper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to CopyLeaks and I'm going to upload this document, which I've changed back into just its normal writing with taking out the references uh, completely. So I'm going to upload it into CopyLeaks and I'm going to click on scan and let's see what it comes back with. So you'll see it takes a little bit of time to load the document and as soon as it's complete it will give us a final percentage um, of how well it does. So let's look at the information that it's returned. So we can see here initially that there's 43.1% match text and it breaks this down for us. So we can see the dark uh, red is identical. This 18% match. And we know that we have exactly copied plagiarized text in here. So that's good to see that it's picked that up. It's picked up on 0.1% minor changes. Um, and then the light orange, we've got the paraphrase section that we know we've put that in as well, 24.9%, um, and then zero omitted words. So let's take this step by step and look at what it's done. So we can see that the section from Wikipedia, it's completely picked up on that, and that's red, which means it's completely identical. And if we click on that section, it will bring us the uh, source from where it's been copied from. And you can see straight away, it's identified that it's the copied Wikipedia text. So this is great. So again, like I mentioned earlier, if you've forgotten where you've copied something from and you want to paraphrase it and find the source from it, you can immediately find that. So if we scroll down, we'll see that this part is paraphrased. And what I want to do is I'm going to pull up the document that we had initially so that we can compare side by side. So we've this is the completely copied section. And then in the section starting the main findings, which I paraphrased using Quillbot, interestingly, it hasn't picked up on the first two sentences, so uh, not been detected. However, there's a section here that it's starting from a definition of social presence that it tells us that it's paraphrased and it tells us where it's paraphrased from as well so that's really good to know so always be careful when you're using ai tools quillbot or whatever to uh, paraphrase that you need to be inputting your own um, writing as well because then it will be detected as being paraphrased now if we look at what it's done with the chat gpt text which is the next section here you'll find that it's actually picked up that 
all of the chat GPT section has been paraphrased. That's, that's good to know. And there's also a sentence in here that it says that it's identically copied, even though it's supposed to have been paraphrased. So be careful with that. And again, it's shown us uh, where it's been um, taken from and it's given us the uh, source for that. Now, moving on to the last section, let me just pull up my document here as well. With the rise, this is a chat GPT section, which we said is paraphrased. And then with the last section, again, it's picked up that this is exactly copied from the uh, article. So that's the reference here as well. So overall, I can say that it's done a pretty good job in telling us the extent of the match text. And I find this one of the most useful tools if you do not have access to turn it in, for example, to submit your research paper or your article before it actually gets evaluated, then this is the next best thing to have. And let me just say here that although they do say you can upload about 20 documents for free, I've found that it usually gives you about three or four documents, depending on the length. And then after that, and you have to upgrade. So if you're regularly submitting papers, it is worth the, the investment in this. Um, however, if you're just using it occasionally, then you can use the free version. So I hope you found this useful um, as a tool to keep track of your work and of your notes. And see you in the next video.